What's up everybody? So one thing about my videos is I do everything on my own. The shooting, production, editing, all that stuff. And one thing that's frustrating when you're filming YouTube videos by yourself, especially when you're far away from the camera like I am, I'm zoomed in so the camera is actually further than you may think it is. But I'm looking at this tiny little LCD screen over there and that's attached to the camera that comes with it. And I can't quite tell if I'm in focus. I can't quite tell if the color's just right on my skin, if maybe the lighting needs to go down. There's a lot of things that are very difficult to tell. So what if I could fix that? What if I have an old monitor laying around, which I do. I've got several here and uh, this is just your standard monitor. It's got the VGA port, which most do. What if we could turn this into a, an actual monitor that goes behind the camera and gives me a live feed of what I look like. So instead of looking at that tiny screen on the camera here, I'm looking at this bigger picture behind the camera. That's what we're gonna do in today's video. <laughs> All right, uh, so a little story time as we get going here. Um, I've been looking into field monitors and if you don't know what field monitors are, they are the screens that go, that they can attach on top of a DSLR camera. So a lot of big YouTubers will use them. Filmmakers, of course, use them. Uh, let me show you what they look like here. All right, so this is what a field monitor looks like. You can see it goes right on top of a camera. The problem for me is when I was looking at uh, just buying a field monitor for my camera, they're pretty dang expensive. You're looking at several hundred dollars, uh, sometimes even up into the thousands. I mean, you're probably looking at like, you know, 160 for like a, a basic cheap one. You can get some cheaper than that, but then you, you suffer quality and whatnot. So I, uh, that was my problem is I'm, I'm kind of on a budget here. As you can see, I'm working in an unfinished basement. So, uh, you know, if there's, if there's cheaper options, that'd be great. And honestly, field monitors are perfect if you are a YouTuber or filmmaker where you're traveling a lot and you're on the go. So in my case, I do a lot of shoots over in this other area where the camera just stays still. I record most of my videos in that room so the, the equipment is not moving that much. And I have a lot of monitors laying around. So my thought was, is there a way for me to just use my monitor and just have it set up in the back of the room and that's a screen that just stays there and I can always look at it when I'm filming in that particular setup? The answer is yes, there is. So let me show you what I found. So I found this little bad boy here and it cost me under $10 and it's a mini HDMI to VGA adapter and it will allow me to hook my DSLR camera, one of these, to the monitor so I can get a live feed on that monitor. Problem is, is I'm waiting for it to show up. So we've gotta wait for it to show up and then we're gonna connect it and we're gonna hope it works. One hour later. So, let's open this thing up. All right, so this comes with uh, three different connections here. We of course have the mini HDMI to VGA connector. And then we've got just a uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to the same thing. And then it looks like we've got a mini USB to USB. I was not aware that these were coming with it. I'm not exactly sure what these are for. It's making me nervous. It's making me think this is more complicated than I realized, but let's find out. All right, I've got the monitor set up. I've got the camera set up. It works. Let me first show you what it looks like from my point of view here. All right, so this is my point of view when I record these videos. I've got my laptop here with some notes, I've got the desk, and I've got that little camera way over there. And that's the screen I have to work with to make sure I'm in frame and to make sure everything looks good. What I've done, and again, this is a ghetto setup. I've got a little chair there and I've got the screen. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and hook that cord with the adapter into the camera. 
So again, this is the VGA connection, and then it just goes right into this adapter right here that I purchased. That's it, I didn't have to use any other cords, and it goes right into the HDMI, or sorry, the mini HDMI port on this camera here. All right, and there we have it. This is me sitting right here. I can see exactly what I look like down there. It's a much bigger screen than looking into that tiny little thing. It's a little battery, so it's gonna die any second because I forgot to charge that, but really that simple. Now I can sit here when I do my videos and I get a much better idea on if I'm in frame and if I look good. And I spent less than 10 bucks doing it. All right, so that's pretty cool stuff, right? Uh, if you are interested in getting this adapter for your setup, I've gone ahead and I've linked to it down below so you can go and grab that. It's under 10 bucks. The price always changes, so who knows? It might be even cheaper when you click on the link. But uh, this is the perfect option for those of you who do YouTube videos or any kind of filmmaking and you are just in one spot and you can plug in a monitor and you don't want to spend a bunch of money on a field monitor. Obviously this requires you to have a monitor, which those in of itself cost a lot of money. But if you happen to have a monitor that's just laying around, this is the perfect option to put that thing to use and to do it. It's just much easier to film videos and just make sure you're in frame, that you look good, the color's right, the focus is right. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited to, uh, for this to help me with my future YouTube videos. But uh, I will also link to an adapter, I'll try to, for those of you who have HDMI monitors. Usually HDMI monitors also have a VGA connection, but uh, in the case that it doesn't and you wanna use that monitor, I'll link to an adapter that you can use for HDMI monitors as well. But uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. That would mean a lot. It tells me that I'm doing a good job. And if you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon because YouTube doesn't like to tell people that I have new videos coming out. But if you do that, you'll be notified of all the new videos that I'll be putting out. I'll be doing a lot more videos for YouTubers and of course, just a lot of tech videos. So if you enjoy tech, uh, this is a channel for you. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna get to work on some more videos. And uh, my name is Brandon Hassler and this is Tech Audit TV.